Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Being Louisa. Before I get to this video, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you can get my very late and very random uploads. And if you're like me and you've been around for a while but you're not quite sure, but you think you're kinda liking the way my videos are going, don't forget to subscribe as well. And give these videos a big thumbs up if you are liking them so I know what content to do more of. Oh, and also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter because as you can tell, I missed out posting last week. But if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know there and then if I'm gonna post this week and if I'm not. Sorry about the late post. But anyway, let's get onto the video. So this video was requested by Nikki and sorry it's been two weeks since you requested this video but I hope this helps. So there were three main questions. The difficulty of midwifery as a course, can I have a social life and study midwifery and are there any sacrifices that I am currently making? So to answer question number one, midwifery is hard, it's not an easy go lucky course, it's not like any other uni course where you don't even have to turn up for lectures. Like I guess you could not turn up to lectures but that'd be kind of silly <laughs> because then you're missing out on content and missing out on what your tutors say i always find that when you go to lectures or any classes it's not what's on the powerpoint that's important yeah it's important but it's what your teachers say and it's how your teachers say it for me anyway like i love it when teachers have little anecdotes or they have examples because i'll more likely remember the anecdote or the example of whatever learning than i would remember what's on the powerpoint but at least that's just me yeah so with midwifery you have to go to all the uni lectures you definitely have to go to skills and then placement is amazing it's literally just like working it's everything that i love about this course <laughs> i just love being with the women and so it is quite a difficult course because it is intense because you do get chucked in there i saw placement two months into being into university which was a lot and very scary and i was like i don't know enough i'm not going to be good with patients or with women and <laughs> I don't know you get all these fears but then even if you start your placement only in January you'll still have those same fears because it was only an extra what two months but you'll still have all those exact same fears so it's a lot and then also you're doing normal working weeks and that's just that is it takes a toll on anyone like working those hours it does take a toll unless you have a nice little balance between social life and uni it will be a lot so then to go into question number two can you have a social life could you can you have a social life and study midwifery yes it's possible i'm not a very social being <laughs> um which makes no sense since i'm going to midwifery but in the sense of because i really just don't like leaving my house if i'm comfortable somewhere i don't really want to leave there i'm just that type of person i'm a homebody i've always have been always will be but I do go out sometimes and I do go and explore but when I was on placement it was quite tough to to be on placement to film YouTube videos to then try and make friends slash go out and then also to do cheerleading it was quite a lot so this kind of leads into the third question as well I as a sacrifice gave up cheerleading I one didn't have the time for it because I usually ended up having placement on the days that I had cheer and then cheer was an hour away from halls so I had to get from placement to halls and then from halls to cheer practice and so there was a lot of traveling I didn't have time to eat usually except for like at lunch and then but those days I wouldn't have time to make food like make dinner so I was going I was going days without dinner only eating one meal in a day which isn't great for me because I usually end up putting on weight that way <laughs> But yeah, so I just, it was a lot, so I did end up giving up chilling because it's all together basically. It was an hour there, two hours of practice, and then an hour back. And I'm saying an hour if there wasn't traffic. If there was traffic, it took almost two hours to get to cheerleading. And that was always the worst, because when I was, should have been on time, I would be late, and then I'd like get in trouble, or I'd have to do laps or something, and I just wasn't like, no. And I just didn't like being late because I'm like, oh, I'm only spending an hour now here and it's like going to take me longer to get back than I am going to be here. To me, it just didn't make sense. And then also it got really expensive and I don't have a job right now, so I couldn't afford that. I can like just about now, having given up cheer, I can just about afford life. <laughs> but my personal circumstances, I couldn't afford cheer. Like cheer got way more expensive than they have projected it to be. And I also did that silly thing that all freshers do where they spend way more money than they should have. I wasn't as bad as some people I know, but I did spend more money in the first term than I should have. So I just couldn't afford cheer and I didn't have time for cheer. <laughs> yeah, that was just me. 
so I did give up cheer that is my one sacrifice another sacrifice that I don't necessarily miss but I miss is working so when I'm on placement I don't care about working because I am working if you get what I mean like being on placement it's like having a job and I love it but I do miss having a job when we're at uni or when we have a holiday I miss working I'm just that person I need to be not constantly busy but I need to have like a nice schedule of I can't just be in Zor's 24 7 otherwise i will go a bit my mental health will decline let's just say it, put it that way <laughs> so i do miss having a job because since i was 15 i've been working so doing my gcse's i was working two hours two hours away from my house every weekend during my a levels i continue to have that job that was two hours away from my house plus i was also working in a clothing store so i had two jobs in my a levels and then i stopped working for three months and then i was working full-time for a year and a bit well, i was working full-time for about eight months started my access course then i was working till march of last year so it's been weird not working yeah so that is something i have sacrificed as well that's for me personally i know people out there who who can have a job and study midwifery they do that there's people that have a very very vibrant social life and study midwifery i feel like the things that i just chose today was a lot of commitment which is why i had to quit cheer because that was a lot of commitment that i knew like you know when you know that something's a lot of commitment but you don't completely know until you get yourself in that situation that's what happened to me but if you want to have a social life it's totally possible if you want to join a club or a society it's totally possible as long as you're willing to not go some weeks and as long as you're allowed to not go some weeks and as long as you're just willing to spend time focusing on the course and on being a student midwife and then focus on that being a student midwife has to be a priority not your social life or your student activities being a student midwife has to be a priority but i hope those answer your questions sorry I went a bit off in a tangent but <laughs> i'm trying to film this video and i'm going to edit it and upload it today so yeah, i hope you guys enjoyed this video just to let you know that this week is my enrichment week so i'm going to two conferences that i would try and film at least one of them and then i actually start my next placement so i'm actually going to pre-record a video just because the way the week's what looking i'm kind of nervous i won't have a video for next week but i am going to pre-record a video right after this so i probably will be wearing the same outfit <laughs> Um, but yeah so my next placement is starting on Monday and I'm going to be going to the home from home birth centre and so I'm going to be doing 12 and a half hour shifts and I'm excited but nervous but you'll hear more about that in not my next video but the video after so the video coming out next week you'll hear more about that so make sure you go and watch that and in the meantime keep on being you if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below with any questions or suggestions and don't forget to subscribe to get weekly updates bye y'all